Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. With a muzzle-loading rifle such as this, a wide variety of muzzle velocities are possible depending on how it's loaded. And I'm curious to see if there's a relationship between velocity and accuracy. Uh, so I'm going to load this up with a variety of different loads spanning a whole range of different velocities. And we're going to do some shooting and see if we can correlate the accuracy of these various loads to their muzzle velocity. So without further ado, let's start shooting. Well, I started off shooting what should be a subsonic load, uh, 35 grains of Pyrodex behind a 365 grain mini ball. Uh, muzzle velocity is around 1,000 feet per second. And at 100 yards, it's just kind of spraying everywhere. I mean, we got let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten holes in the target out of about a 15 shot group so uh, hopefully we can do better with some higher velocity loads Now, shooting the same 365 grain mini ball, I've increased the powder charge to 50 grains of Pyrodex, uh, which gives us a muzzle velocity around 1,200 feet per second, so just barely supersonic. And with this load, at 100 yards, we're seeing about a 10-inch group. So, definitely better performance than the subsonic load. Still shooting our 365 grain mini ball, uh, this time I increased the powder charge to 100 grains of Pyrodex, which should give us a muzzle velocity of 1600 to 1700 feet per second. Now though, we see the group size opening up to about 16 inches. This time I loaded the rifle with a 180 grain lead round ball and 50 grains of Pyrodex, uh, which gives me a muzzle velocity very comparable to the last mini ball load, you know, a little over 1600 feet per second. However, with the round ball load at this velocity, at 100 yards, I'm now getting a nice 8 inch group. Now, using the same round ball as the last load, but increasing the powder charge to 150 grains of Pyrodex, I get a muzzle velocity around 2300 feet per second, but the group size again opens way up. Uh, I've only got four shots accounted for out of a 15 shot group, so it's clearly shooting high, but it's also spreading out to like a 24 plus inch group. Well, in this case, it seems like the correlation is not so much between velocity and accuracy as it is between propellant charge and accuracy. Um, at least with this particular rifle, it seems like a propellant charge of about 50 grains of Pyrodex gives me the best grouping regardless of what projectile I'm using. Uh, even though different projectiles of different weights will give me substantially different muzzle velocities with a 50 grain charge of Pyrodex. So, 
not necessarily the result I was expecting, but uh, still an interesting result to this test. Uh, in any case, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.